I was, uh, you were sitting in the chair and I went up to you and I was trying to make kisses with you. What do you, is, is Yana, am I being in inaccurate? Am no, I no, I'm just, right now? no, I'm just taking myself there. I'm going. I remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. I love you, shithead. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Luxury firm. King size. Loom and leaf. King size. Solaire. King size. Do I sound like a baller? Yo, I am because I sleep on sattva mattresses but I don't pay baller prices. That's how we got into Sattva. We wanted to have a beautiful king size bed, but not pay the crazy inflated price. But Sattva gives you quality. It's organic cotton made in the United States of America. They have amazing delivery and setup, and they even take away your old mattress for a nominal fee. They have a 60 day um, in-home trial. If you don't like it, they'll take it back, but I doubt that that's gonna happen. Um, We've been sleeping on these beds for a decade, and we love this company so much. We have our own URL. Go to sattva.com slash the shit now to get $200 off your next purchase. Sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next Sattva purchase. You deserve it. You deserve a better mattress. Stop sleeping on the dog bed you're on. Sattva.com slash the shit. You're my son. I'm your mom. You're my son. I'm your mom. Ask him, will you ask, ask, ask him, will you, you get your mom? Yes, I would. You're my son. I'm your mom. It's just like the gays. It's just like, just, 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 it's just like the gays. I looked at her and she looked at me. And... It's just like the gays. He wants to know why he calls me mom, you know what I mean? We're both consenting adults. Ask him, will you? Ask, ask, ask him, will you? I looked at her and she looked at me and... You're my son? I'm your mom? It's just like the gays. It's just like... Just, just, just... It's just like the gays. Ask him, will you? Ask, ask, ask him, will you? you... It's just like the gays. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like the gays. <laughs> Which one of our sons would you marry? Oh my God. I cannot believe you fucking threw that at me. Could not be any more revolting. They're both so awesome though. Who do you choose? Uh, uh, no, thank you. Change topics. God, could you imagine? Uh, no. It's so gross. I walked into Julian's room today and he goes, I hate you. Oh, still? Thank you. He's deeply in love with me he right goes, now. Get out. And I go, no. And then I said, you know what? No more driving cars. He goes, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. He gives me such intense kisses and hugs. So intense. Last night, I said, I go, I love you. He didn't say anything. So I go, hey, I love you. He goes, I know. <laughs> Julian? Yeah. Yeah. That's an Ellis line usually. Yeah, I know. Like, God, get out of here. I know. God. <laughs> yeah, you say it all the time. I'm like, yeah, that's because that's true. He's like, okay. Gosh, I wish my parents, I, like I never had that. They never lot. were like that? Doting on you, how much they love you? Are you new? <laughs> like I never in my life be been like. We love you so much. Yeah, I've never that. had to be like, guys, enough with the I love yous. <laughs> really? <laughs> God. No. My mom would kiss me, like hug me, on like really. But they would say I love you. And she right? smelled very perfumey. My mom wore too much perfume yeah. and her hair was too crunchy. So when she would hug me, I was like, ugh, like everything tell you, about I've had you. this thought about cologne. Is cologne so <sighs> bad or is it that you only run into people, where, <laughs> you notice it with people who wear too much. That's what it so is. So then you go, oh, cologne is bad. Because I noticed that like all my <laughs> Latin friends and, and family, they all wear cologne, but they don't douse themselves in mm -hmm, cologne. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But see, the only men I've noticed who wear cologne wear yeah. two. That's a really interesting it's like I was point. In, I was just in Vegas, which is the home of cologne. But <laughs> it's because you notice guys who are bathing in it. Mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. actually nice if it's subtle. 
If it's subtle, right? like if you have to get close to somebody and you're, yeah, like, you're like, oh, this, okay. You smell pleasantly good. But if you good. smell them as they're walking around a corner. That's the bad thing. Yeah. God, there was one friend of my dad, like all, all Hungarians, the men that I grew up around, all yeah. doused. And I remember like saying hello to all the the bocce nannies, yeah. what you call them, like bocce, whatever. And you kiss the both sides and yeah. then I would have like five or six different greasy cologne smells yeah. on my cheek. Those guys are wearing too much. Ugh. So gross. Israelis too, yeah? Don't you guys do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We love, love cologne. Yeah. But it's not overpowering when I wear stuff, right? I don't ever smell you. Fuck yeah, dude. That's what you want. Hell you so want it to be good. if somebody is like right now, like up on you. That's when you want to notice. Yeah. yeah. Same it's, with perfume. I don't want yeah. to smell a woman fucking 20 yards That's away. That's what my mom would do. Yeah. It was like, ch -ch 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 -ch. too much. And then her hair was crunchy. And I wonder she would if there's it a certain like, amount of sprays where it, it goes from acceptable to unacceptable. I think one is one and done. One. Two tops. Yeah. I do t -t 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 done. That's it. Yeah. It should be very uh, subtle. Yeah. We used to work with this guy. I worked with a guy in post-production, PJ. <laughs> and uh, he, had, he has a kind of laugh. He had, and you would smell PJ. You, he'd be outside and you're inside. And you're <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? PJ. And then sometimes I would like, I, w I couldn't bring it up how revolting it was what he was doing. But I'd be like, yeah, you like cologne. He's like, you know, bitches love cologne. <laughs> they don't. He would be doused in it. They I don't. Mean, if you rode in the car with him, we'd go to the car to pick up food. I'd, be, I'd open the windows. It's fucking 40 degrees outside. I'm like, open the windows, man. Like, oh, get some air. And you know what I Way hate? Way too much. I hate when drivers spray down their cars. You have That's part of becoming an Uber driver. You have to wear the cologne. Otherwise, Uber doesn't <laughs> let you do it. It's so They're like, nasty. your car checks out. How come you don't smell great? <laughs> It is on. so overpowering. It Way makes me much. nauseous. I hate yeah. it. I yeah. hate it. Bad smells. Bad smells. I like when a car smells like leather or yeah. cigarettes. I actually like when it smells like cigarettes. What? Yeah. I like the smell of stale cigarettes. It just reminds me of a good time uh, in my life, you know? You're my son. Yeah. I'm your mom. Yeah. What, okay, what's a smell that other people would think is gross but that you secretly like? I'll give you another one. I no. love the smell of Bitsy's mouth. I love dog mouth. I love dog breath. Only when it's your dog. Like I loved Fifi's. I better pause. I love those Frito paws. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, what's the smell that you secretly enjoy? Secretly. That people would think you're disgusting. Gasoline. I love gasoline. Right, but that's like. It's a good one. Yeah. That's when, when you when you discover it, like when you're a kid, you're like, oh, I like gas. And it's like, you know, this will kill you. And you're like, oh, really? I think that's the first time you realize that something is bad that you enjoy. Because it's so innocent kind of when you first are like, hey, I like the way that smells. And then adults are like, don't do that regularly. No, this is going to kill you, little, little girl. Uh, smells that they would think is, I'm crazy? I don't know. I'm Coffee not. brewing sometimes smells like brown to me. Mm. Yeah. My smell's all off since I had COVID, but. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like rotten smells though. <laughs> like, most of them were pretty revolting. The honey bucket? Oh my God. <laughs> that was so fucking gnarly. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. You. Another smelly smell. A terrible smell. Are you writing one down? No, I'm just writing down the honey bucket because I feel like we have to talk about that oh, in further fuck. dialogue. Okay, other other smells. Well, I hate leaf blowers. I hate the way they smell. That makes me angry. Yeah. I hate the smell of clove. Ugh, I agree. I don't like that. Yeah. I clove hate, cigarettes? Like that clove leaf. I know. Kind of. Yeah, cigarettes. Oh, you know? yeah. And it's also a taste, right? So they're, they're associated. Ugh. Makes me, one time I had, when I had my wisdom teeth pulled 20 some oh, years ago. Oh, God. They put in, so they tried to like limit how many painkillers they gave you. So they put this like, uh, it's like a string. Think of it like a, a almost like a thicker uh, dental floss. And they wedge it mm -hmm. in that space because it would be like a numbing thing. And they and they keep it there for like a few days. It was clove flavored. Uh, uh. And I was like, Ugh, uh, <laughs> and I, was, I felt nauseous. And I, I go, do you have any other? like flavors and they go oh yeah we can switch it out i go i'm coming in right now i'm yeah. gonna fucking throw up <laughs> because of this i still remember that it's still burned into my memory how how much i hate the way that smells it's very strong very pungent oh club God. cigarettes are kind of gross i used to smoke those like for a minute when you're in high school you know and you, you learn to smoke and you're like i'm gonna get cloves 
Ugh, yeah. then they burn. Yeah. Um, Irish people. What? What? Uh, <laughs> I hate rosemary with everything inside of me. When that fucking shit herb is on potatoes or chicken, I want to throw, throw the fucking chicken right back at them. Yeah. I hate rosemary. You do hate rosemary. It I've, angers I've actually, me. your hatred of rosemary has bled into me somewhat. Yeah. Like now I'll be like, I don't like rosemary. Mm-hmm. And I never loved it, but I think it bothers me more now. It's also fucking rosemary. Demonic. You can very subtle, I think, is, but people overdo it, and that's when, like, when it's rosemary <sighs> chicken, uh, nasty. I don't like it. Gross, gross, gross. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck you and the fucking wop that taught you how to make that dish, right, Jeez. guys? Jeez. Uh huh. Okay. Buongiorno. Are you still learning your toilet Italian? Yeah. See, si, me piace. Mi piace, toilet italiano. Okay, let's start the show. You ready? Uh, I'm ready. Hey, here you go. go. Hi, <laughs> do you have any guys available to come over to my hotel room tonight? <laughs> yeah, in about half an hour. I need someone to like special girls. No, I'm not retarded. <laughs> I just need a guy that likes someone with an extra big clit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 two for two. These are great. <laughs> How big? Uh, <laughs> Welcome to your mom's house. I'm special. With Tom Segura. Mom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. No, 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 no. Yeah. Now. <laughs> oh my god. Can I tell you what I realized? Mm. You know I love shaky cheese like so much, yeah. so much. Well, I spilled some on the table the other day, and then I was like, it smells like vomit. <laughs> Fucking shaky, shaky cheese, cheese stinks. smells like vomit. Probably Parmesan cheese, yeah. But is it the real parm that smells like vomit? A lot of fre- like real cheeses stink. I mean, that's not new, right? There's some real stinky cheeses out there. Sometimes they're delicious and they stink, which is wild, because most of the time that doesn't align. <laughs> it doesn't align. Most of the time if something stinks and it's food, you're like, I don't want that. I don't want that. But cheese is like the great exception. Yeah. I mean, there's some like revolting fart smelling cheeses. Yeah. And you eat it and you're like, this is so, so good. So good. I don't know if there's another food that does that. Is there any other food that you like? Fish. Smells yeah. like shit. Tastes, tastes real good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True. A lot of seafood stinks. Seafood stinks. So now we found hot. two. Seafood yeah. and cheese. Yeah. Is that it? That's probably it, right? Uh, let me use my brain. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm thinking real hard. <laughs> Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. That's my my thinking brain face. Uh, um, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Sticky balls. Kimchi. Oh, I love kimchi. But that can smell, right? It smells so good. Yeah. I love the cabbage. A cabbage. I love. I like for vodka. That smells on the way in and the way out. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want to do an episode of Hotties with me right now? <laughs> Hotties, the pod. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. I am so in and I don't taste good. I don't smell good and I don't taste good. Oh, that cub smells brows. Yeah. It tastes good. I, lo- <laughs> I love that that cub smells. I don't taste it's the best thing it's ever. The best. I love it. Oh, guys never know how much I love it. <laughs> I should fill chocolate with cum on that one. It's like a bonbon. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Mm. The science behind why we love stinky cheese. Wait, what does the subtitle say? It's called backwards smelling. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Usually, if something smells funky or rancid, we've been trained to toss it. But there is one big exception to this rule, stinky cheese. Even the most mild of blue cheeses can retain a certain sharp aroma when you get around a real stinker like creamy cave aged french epois the smell can linger in your nose and the entire room you ate it in for a long time yet in spite of the stank 
We love it. Now we know why. Okay. What does it say? In the above exclusive clip from Food Delicious Science premiering on PBS, host James Wong explains why a cheese that smells like stinky feet tastes so damn good. The sulfur like the stinky sock smelling volatile aroma molecules from stinky cheese stimulate a unique combination of receptors to help us identify the smell. But when you eat it, something magical happens. The aroma compounds are released in your mouth and they waft up to the back of your nose. They're detected by the same smell detectors, but weirdly your brain perceives them as, a very, as very different than if you lean forward and snuff them up the front of your nose. I don't fucking, what? The witchcraft is called backwards smelling. The brain combines the pungent smell with the creamy comforting taste it experiences on the tongue at the same oh. time. The combination of taste and smell has a dramatic effect on how we <sighs> perceive a particular molecule. If you want to have the full effect of a cheesy flavor scent. Ew, oh, oh, yeah. I hate the rind. Do you know? Do you want to know what cum tastes like? What? Literally. Yeah. Cum. Yeah. Tastes like the brie cheese shell. Also, I might like it. The, <laughs> it literally smells and tastes like the I rind. That. I was just thinking of another I one. I can't. Another one, feet, because like sometimes that can smell kind of pungent, but then I'll come real hard. <laughs> and there you go. Oops. That's true, Tom. Yeah, yeah. That's true. <clears throat> so does that mean you can eat stuff that ta- smells bad and then it'll taste good? Like I mean, caca? you could start, you could try, <laughs> you could try it as an experiment. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You could try it. You could start, go, why don't you collect a bunch of foods that stink real bad and see how you like them? <laughs> I do like kimchi. Yeah. I love fermented foods. That you is do. my jam. That is. That's like in your <sighs> DNA from your. That's it from your birth. Eastern Europeans love to ferment, jar yes. and ferment. And you guys made, your dad made pickles at home. Uh, yes. I live for this cabbage, you fucking, sauerkraut. You Ruskies do that shit. Oh, it's so good. And it's good for your, your probiotics. Mm. And this is different foods. Oh, there. durians. That so says gross. That's another stinky one. That one smells like shits. Okay. Scroll. I hate durians. Kimchi's I on there. Kimchi. Yeah. Collard, Collard greens. greens. Smells like farts. Yeah. yeah. Someone's farting in my mouth. Balsamic vinegar. <laughs> I didn't smell that bad. Sometimes I can smell. Yeah, because vinegar. If yeah. it has a stronger vinegar ratio, yeah. that can smell. Do you know that women used to douche with vinegar? I've heard this. In your Brussels puss sprouts. Puss? Yeah. Those smell like farts. That is literally. And like those make me fart. Farting I've been, in your mouth. Do you know mouth. that I've been turning those down more now all the time? Because you've learned? Yeah, like now when we go out as a group, yeah. like on tour, yeah. someone gets Brussels sprouts. I don't even eat them. I'm like, this is just going to make me gassy. Fart machines. Yeah. Parmesan. Parmesan. I love Parmesan so much. So do God I. God damn it. But it smells like vomit, the processed Sauerkraut. One. That can really stink. I love Again, sauerkraut. fermented, so right? Good, so good. Oh, oh eggs. How eggs. did we not think of that? Yeah. I mean, that should be number one. Do you know that I turned down? Particularly like I, hard boiled, right? Ugh. That really has the smell. I hard boiled eggs this morning yeah. and then was like, no thanks, because I didn't want my mouth to smell like shit. Truffle oil is a very interesting one. Yeah. Because it can smell real stinky. It tastes so good. But you also don't want huge quantities. You don't need a lot. Of truffles or truffle oil. And Just a little bit. Look what's inside that fucking oil. <laughs> what's in there? Fucking rosemary. Ugh. You motherfuckers. Disgusting. I should go smack them the way yes. fucking Will Smith tried to yes. smack Chris. Get them, baby. Papaya. Papaya doesn't smell. Papaya tastes shitty sometimes. Does it smell shitty? Have yeah, smell. it's got a shitty smell every now and then. It does. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tastes good. <laughs> it tastes good. And it tastes good. Is that it? Good. Just ten. Yeah. All right. You know what I like to do? Why? I put a little bit of that um spicy shit, that red Mexican. Are you Puerto Rican or something? No, you know what that is. It's like that red spicy shit. Yeah. What's it called, homie? I don't know. Do you know Hot what I'm sauce? talking? Tajin. Okay. You put that shit on your papaya, homie, or your mango. Shit tastes like fire dog. It's so good. What's that seasoning I've Coconut? seen at home for your eggs? You always have to- Okay. Here's a little trip to tip. Is okay. It's the everything bagel seasoning from That's what it is. Traders Joe. You put this on your egg, it tastes like you're eating an everything bagel. And yeah. you're not without those calories. Yeah, right there. It's like how you I fool myself. That first into, one, the into, Traders Joe. That's one. it, the Traders Joe one. I fool myself into thinking I'm eating something really special. Bro, it's good. It's really good. It is good. That's what I got. Some might even say the best. You could put, um, 
I'll have to try it out. Yeah, you should. <laughs> uh, yes. Enough. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Any, which seasoning is the best? What do you, I mean, uh, what season? I don't, the fucking, the hot sauce, man. Hot sauce is, <laughs> no. is, is the best. What do you put on so. everything? Be honest. I mean, hot put, sauce, literally. I put literally? hot sauce on fucking string cheese. Yeah. Okay. So you really yeah, do yeah. believe in, is it Tabasco or do Hell you use no. Tapatio, Cholula? I mean, if we're going for the basic ones, yeah, Cholula's fire. Yeah, yeah. Tapatio's fire. Yeah. Tabasco do you is like, like oh. do you like, I don't I don't like Tabasco. Tabasco. Not what is in it? It's like, I feel like nobody likes Tabasco. It's, it's, just, fucking, it's just fucking gross. vinegar. It's vinegar. Do you... Um, <laughs> what was that, fire? No, that was uh, uh, Uncle Terry with that toy up his ass. <laughs> um, do you like the green one? Uh, the, the green, green Cholula? Tabasco? Oh, Cholula? No, yeah. it's good. Yeah, yeah. I really like that one. Yeah, the green, it's it's almost like the green one's almost always more flavorful no matter mm. which it has, sauce you're talking I feel about. like you can just like taste things in it. Yes. That's it's what I'm not, saying. Yeah, yeah, right. So as opposed to just this is. Wait a minute. Has kick. Guys, Cholula hot sauce has five different varieties. Did you fucking know that? Uh, no. I didn't either. What? This bitch has five flavors? Yeah, the Chipotle. Chili lime. The Chipotle one's pretty fire. What? Ooh. They also make a habanero one. That's not on here. Bro. That one's really good. Why, okay, are, we getting, why are we getting this pack? Bro, read it. How many different guys? There's chili lime, <laughs> chili garlic, original, chipotle, and, and green, green pepper. peps. Yeah. <gasps> they don't fuck around at Cholula. Been saying this for years, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shit that killed Bin Laden. You got to try it. <laughs> How's Joey Diaz? Have you seen him? Talk I talked to him, to him last week. What's yeah. up with him? Don't let him give you any drugs. No, no touch anything he gives me no i don't know i might not even shake his hand god i wouldn't if i were you don't yeah. trust his ass anymore no 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 way that dude got me fool me once fool me again fool <laughs> i'm not a fool <laughs> yeah, he traumatized me i mean yeah it traumatized me yeah by the way you're out there you're wondering um how you can pick up a lady well um, this is a self-help dating coach oh. named uh, Owen Cook. Wait, sorry, no, not to give you a hard time. Sure. You know who hits on people? Betas. Okay? Betas do. You know, you know what alphas do? They just win. That's it. They're just like, they just win. They don't need to do, it's just like, what's up? And then it's just on. It's on by default. So it, it doesn't need to be articulated. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like, right. it's just like, hey. And then it's done. You know? so, it, so it's like, if it's like, ah, yeah, yeah, right? It's like, you know, like, you know, like when your significant other comes to you and they're like, no, babe, they didn't hit on me. So it's okay. We're going to hang out, right? You're like, it's over, right? You know what I'm saying, right? No, it's like, if, 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 if they're like, no, he's hitting on me, then you know that nothing's going to happen, <laughs> right? Because betas hit on people. <laughs> A lot of energy. Yeah. yeah. He has Buck Angel vibes. He does. <laughs> Does he? A little bit. Yeah, he kind of looks exactly like Buck Angel. <laughs> I thought for a minute it was. Buck Angel vibes. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? Look. Yeah. Doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but do you get what he's saying there? Any, do you get that? I think I get what he's trying to say, which is like, don't. It's kind of, yeah, it sounds like he's trying to say what you guys said on the last like, episode. Like, don't use lines, which was. Right? Yeah, but also like don't try to sell. Oh right, what you want? Yeah, don't yeah. don't even don't be a buyer. Just come up and say, "Hey," which yeah is I mean, funny. That, yeah, that's I mean no. I get what he's. I think he was, you know, kind I, of being funny with that. He's right? like, "Don't compliment that bitch." He's kind of like, "Don't, I don't make a blatant. I'm hitting on you." It's it's like right. I mean, I'm trying to like cut okay, through. I think what I you're know saying. what he's saying. And I, as a woman, yeah, I'm sorry. It's as kind a, of correct, right? As a person who ha ha happens to have a vagina i'm not allowed to be a woman anymore um what i was gonna say is that <clears throat> um i think i know what he's saying it's an energy read yeah it's like uh the beta asks for permission to kiss you right the alpha just leans in for the kiss mm -hmm. right but as far as specifically what he's saying i mean because so it's I, energy a is not like, you know no, he's it's an talking exaggeration, energy. He's talking energy. Yeah. Um, the beta, he, he, I know what he's saying. The the alpha comes in the room and you're like, that's the guy I'm going to fuck. Mm -hmm. You just, as a woman, you know the energy of somebody who's confident, has their shit together, 
The beta is always asking permission to exist in the room with you. Yeah. It's energy. It's not even like, he's not talking about like, at least what I interpret yeah. as. Talking is, it's not, it's not even the talk. The woman, just like you know, as regardless of what gender or whatever, you know who's confident and you know who's not. Yeah. It's a confidence game. It's not even about lines or mm -hmm. whatnot. You just nailed it. It's, it's yeah. confidence is, is what he's trying to say. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's like by him saying don't uh, flirt, it's like, uh, so then even a confident guy wouldn't come up and say like, hey baby, let me get your number. Like, we don't ever do that. I don't think that's, that's not facts. It, he's just saying don't hit on any, any woman ever. She's gonna come to you because you're the winner. And it's like, that's not, yeah, that's, that's not, not accurate. No, because not at all. High quality women, right? High yeah. quality women, we don't hit on the men. It's never gonna fucking happen. Yeah. It's never gonna happen in a million years that I'm gonna chase a dude, it never will happen because yeah. I'm like, if he likes me, he's gonna fucking court me. Yeah. So yeah. he does have to pursue, but it's all in your energy of how you pursue. Yeah. You're just gonna be confident and strong and like, you're not gonna beg for this woman's time. Right. You're gonna be nice and polite. Sure. But I think hitting on, I mean, I think what he's like, it suggests like the type of, you know, a guy who goes like, how can I make this work? Mm, and yeah. I think he's, like the way that I interpret it is he's saying, a guy who uh, who knows who's confident in himself isn't like how can I yeah. what line can I say or what should my he's just like, need it. hi yeah he can just yeah. be himself right and you know that that guy is like a baller yeah yeah you know what alphas do they just win yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's so true yeah Kitty, but he's right yeah they just win yeah, yeah it's a right. confidence right. thing <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this alpha and beta delineation. Breaking everything down, yeah. Like as if a man who is strong, confident, and independent can't also have feelings. Otherwise, he's a beta. Like, well, I don't know. I mean, is that right to think of somebody with feelings as beta? I think, I think that's what the delineation is. Like a beta is more um, subservient, maybe a little more in his feelings. Well, let's look it up. What is the de definition of a beta male? Mm. Somebody who's more feminine and women by definition are more I feminine. I mean, yeah. more feeling people. I would imagine it is uh, a man who looks for the woman to lead. That's generally <laughs> okay. the beta, you know? And a subordinate leads. male animal in a particular group. A man tending to assume a passive or subservient role in social or professional situations. Subservient, right? Yeah. yeah. Tell me what to Not do. Not a leader. Yeah. I don't like that energy. I, that's hard. I, I, I wouldn't like to be with a man that's, that's subservient. Right. I think it's kind of un, unattractive because I'm I'm. A but woman, clearly, I'm a beta. <laughs> uh, clearly, you can. Um, it does work for people. Like obviously, that works for some people. You know, I've seen betas with. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is why you can tell if you're with a man, a beta man. He cares about what you want in bed. <laughs> Yeah, but so do alpha dudes. Uh, I guess no. They're saying that like the alpha is just like it's about me. That's that's what this right. Is that's the assumption that uh, he's reliable. But he doesn't protect you. Beta says he protects you, but they don't. That's a problem with the beta because I've yeah. dated a few. Yeah, they don't step up to protect you, and they're yeah. terrified if something goes wrong in public. It's like, yeah. ugh. I would say it's more like he tries to protect you from yourself one of those you know like uh, you you know like the trucker dude that's like <laughs> you're beautiful but don't ever say that you're not beautiful you're the oh, most yeah, beautiful yeah. that's that's beta energy yes big time yes <laughs> 10 things that you women should know about you're always beautiful oh god yeah that's that's major beta energy to me that guy exactly defines mm -hmm. that because what you know what it is it's weasley mm -hmm. it's bullshit and it, it's bullshit but it's it's done under the guise of like this is honesty mm -hmm. and i can see the truth but it's actually bullshit mm -hmm. that dude is hosing you with that you know because he he can't actually be himself and get you he gets you because mm -hmm. you bought into his trick yeah yep. and also um so last night I, I listened to this app to fall asleep yeah and um I accident and and I listen to stories before I go to bed. Yeah. And I accidentally put in affirmations. I am enough. And yeah. I was like, oh, I'm too tired to change this horse shit. Yeah. And it was like, you are important. People look up to you. 
you are fantastic. It's like, but what if you're not? And yeah. what if people don't? <laughs> That's not true for everybody. There are people who don't have respect of others. It's a yeah. lie. You're telling yourself and others lies. Yeah. As is that, that trucker who's like, you're beautiful. Yeah. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not perfect as you are. Maybe you should change some things about you to be better. Right. Maybe that's okay to not be perfect. You don't have to be perfect because nobody is. But, you know, yeah, I think he might be lying to a lot of you about like how beautiful you are. And yeah. How you should be uh, to always be treated like a queen. Oh, you know? that, I hate that shit so much. Ugh. Um, Because that guy that's like, you're always this, you're always that. It's like, you don't, you don't even see this person as yeah. a real person then. Yeah. You're not in a relationship with that person. Because sometimes you'll be annoyed with your queen. <laughs> yeah. It's not real to be the other way. No. It's yeah. bullshit. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Idealizing yeah. behavior. It's, it's not It's not a good way to do it. Uh-uh. Like sometimes you even said that I don't treat you like a queen. <laughs> I was, I was, um, was it yesterday, last night? I don't know. I was, uh, you were sitting in the chair and I went up to you and I was trying to make kissies with you. What do you, is, it, is Yana, am I being I inaccurate? Am no, I no, I'm just, right now? no, I'm just taking myself there. I'm going. I remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. I love you, shithead. God. I what do happened? nothing but fucking love. Okay, so, so you're sitting in the chair, and yeah. I put my hands on your, your legs, and I'm like kissy facing with you, and like just being a playful, mm. sweet, loving, wife, and then you fart, and that's not enough. You push it out, so it goes like it growls, and then you go ugh, ugh, like you do the grunt, and I'm like that is so fucking disrespectful. And what did I tell you? I don't even remember. You don't remember? No. I was like, man, the breath that I just took after that felt so good, you know, because I go, I went, oh, like that. So it was actually like air coming out of both ends, you know. It was so nice. It felt so good. I was so glad that you were there to share it with me. <laughs> and then I was thinking this morning yeah. about that disrespect last night, right? Yeah. And I was getting ready, and I remember back in our early courtship, I was like, now, would he have done this to just me or just to any, like, let's say he's with his model, like his most prized, coveted sexual thing. And I was like, he probably would have done that to her too. Because back when you were in love with me back 20 years ago, <laughs> when you should have been on your best behavior. Oh my behavior, God, it's so rude. Um, you farted on my hand. That's true. Two months in. A few more, a few no, more months. Don't few lie. A few more months than that. Yes. So I'm thinking, and you married me, so you really liked me. You really liked me at one point. And Stop. You, and you still farted on my hand. So, and then I thought to myself, what is this that he has to ruin a sweet moment? Is this, your, is this the thing we're talking about in the last episode? Why must you elicit disgust from me? Yeah. Uh, Why? Why must you elicit horror and disgust? Know. Are you testing me to see if I'll come back again? Maybe. I don't know. I do, I do know that I feel like you are so vile in your behavior most of the time <laughs> that like like it's funny to me when you point out like I look at him nodding because No, you, I learned it from watching you, Dad. Please. Remember that commercial? The you drugs? belch and fart with reckless abandon and you always want me to notice. Like you fart and I'm like and you go, "Oh, did I do that?" and I'm like, "Ugh." And you, and you, I mean, you'll, I'll be in bed. <laughs> you leave around the corner to go to the bathroom and then you'll come back and go like, and fart. And I'll be like, what are you doing? You're like, oh, I think something just happened. And I'm like, get out of here. You're disgusting. But here's the deal, you man. You fart all day, all day. All day because I'm a human being. You don't Tom. have to make me hear each one. I don't want to hear them all. But something leads me to believe you do. I don't. You, I don't want to. Look yeah. at me. I don't want to hear them all. I don't. But you're a braggart with yours. And so I figure he's wanting me to show him what I can Let do. Let this be the day you understand I don't. I don't want to hear all your farts. Okay, Yana. 
Your Honor, may what? I submit to the or court? Or your belches. Oh, that's what... now you're just taking it too far. <laughs> I'm not taking it too far. You're... I'm telling you, Babe, I don't want to hear them. Yeah. Th- all right, then what's going to happen if I do? Because I can't No, you stop can, being and you're I never going to stop. I'm saying you can hold a couple I'm in. not going to. Not going to happen. Sorry. This is what you're in for. Here's the deal, man. I don't fart and burp in your mouth when we're kissing. Ugh. Hold on. When we are when I you're making sweet romantic gestures, I don't rip them then. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring you with this discussion of our marriage and love? I just had to yawn, Jesus. I just had to yawn. <sighs> I'm just saying, I don't do it at romantical moments. I do it at neutral moments okay to pep up the mood a little bit do you think you could hold it's not to pep up the mood (laughs) don't give me that bullshit i like fun i like it's not about fun or excitement either sometimes i like to have fun and this is the way i get your attention and i know you laugh i don't always laugh i'm revolted i'm speaking your language your love language my language is italian you know (laughs) (laughs) didn't you read the love language book farts are definitely our mutual love language Uh, okay but i don't do it when you're trying to snuggle but wait a minute you don't try and snuggle Uh, when you come to for effect wait a minute you don't come for affection so rude <laughs> maybe it's your way of saying alpha. maybe it's your way of saying i wish you would give me a hug and so because you don't here's a fart <laughs> I would, that's very accurate maybe that's your animal brain working yeah i'm okay. punishing you the way a dog does yeah dogs will shit on your fucking stuff if you don't yeah they'll let you know i just shit on your fucking shoe homie yeah come give me a hug <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Bitsy. <laughs> She's so cute lately. Yeah. She stopped sleeping on the bed with me. I'm fucking offended. Really? And then she came back. She recently came back, so I'm okay with She's her. not as snuggly. No. It's because she's not as damaged as Fief was. She likes her alone space a I lot. hate that so much. She goes out to her dog bed in the living room where I she'll know. just chill on one of those couch pillows, and she's like, I'm fine. I know. And you walk by, and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. She's too secure. Yeah. We should traumatize her a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Leave her outside a couple days. Oh, then you'll see. Then you'll follow me around. Then all of a sudden someone will want some pets. Uh Uh-huh. You fucking smug little bitch. Yeah. Yeah. She comes around. I have to beg her to come. Kabitzi, come here. Let's leave her outside tonight. Let's leave her outside all night tonight. Good idea. Oh my God, she would die. We'll leave it just cracked a little bit so she she can like (laughs) smell the inside. She would die so fast. You think so? Schnitzel wouldn't survive a night out there. On the patio? I think she'd get eaten by a, a vulture. You know, we've got <laughs> buzzards and shit. I saw them eating a squirrel. Yeah. They they will swoop down and, and eat her, probably. I think they eat dead Dead animals, animals yeah. yeah. Well, don't bird. There are big-ass birds like hawks. They I don't think a her. hawk's going to sw- fly into our patio uh, and take our dog. Abso-fucking-lutely. Yeah, owl. Yeah. Uh huh. Hawks will eat tiny dogs. Absolutely. I think I think she's a little big for an owl. Nope. Really? B- please. Okay. I'm telling you, back in the San Fernando Valley, mm-hmm. I've heard of dogs getting snatched by hawks all the time. Okay. How's Whitney coming? She has to put a spike vest on her tiny little dogs for like coyotes and hawks and stuff. It's the truth. Coyotes are a little different than hawks. They're fly coyotes. You never heard of a flying coyote of the valley? <laughs> yeah. Um, by the way, I don't know if I told you this, but you know how uh, Chad is the smart champ? Yes. He beat Chris twice? Yes. Do you know who said they could take him? Who? Danny. Danny was like, I could beat him. Really? hmm On what grounds? On what? He just was like listening to the, to the questions. He was like, oh, I would beat him. Danny knew them? Like he was listening. He's like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. I could have gotten it. And Danny was pre-med he's a bio major wow he's only been out of school a few years too oh so he's a new still has his brain cells and stuff yeah that's what i'm saying and that's why i felt chad was a strong contender because he still has his brain cells from being in academia Mm -hmm. the key word there for danny is pre 
med. <laughs> Whoa! I feel like if, he was, if it was actually med, then maybe we could we could talk about it. Oh but my I feel god! Like until a person is in med school, we're all technically pre med. <laughs> wow! Jesus, he's always slanging this shit. Chad man. is like I know. Chad, how do you feel with your title right now? I feel like everyone's coming after me for some reason. Yeah, that's what happens when you win. Yeah, I saw a lot of things online saying the the first round was a little too easy, but the question was never, are we geniuses? Is It was, am I smarter than Chris? And it turns out I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, that analysis alone makes him smarter uh, than any of us. So are you, are you, I'm assuming you're open to a, a contest with Danny? Yeah, that'd be fun, but Chris is still my, like, our tribal. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I yeah. got you. Okay. So, so it's we, not the same is what you're saying. Correct. But why does Danny think he can, can, can we talk win? to Danny? Can we get him in here for a second? Sure. Yeah. I'd like to hear what his reasoning is because if he's- I think a, it's because he heard the, he heard the questions and he was like, oh, I could get these. Right. But a pre-med major is, that's specified knowledge and we didn't do pre-med questions. Yeah, but he so. has, he has good general knowledge too. You know, that's kind of what was covered by- to be fair, I was a little off my game that day. Ooh. I feel like, I mean, we watched like a ton of heavy segment videos and we were watching like vaginas full of rocks. So I wasn't really like peak brain performance yeah, at that point. Yeah, that kind of shuts mine down too. <laughs> right. That was a special one. Then. Okay. Here he comes. All right. I guess we'll uh -oh. see. Um, Old Danny Big Nuts, huh? Yeah. Hello, young Daniel. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, so we were just saying that you're up for a challenge with uh, with with uh, Chad, right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, did you find that those, did you get all those right that were asked before when you were listening in? Um, I got, I think I got one wrong, but the wow. rest of them. You had. Really strong. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're a pre-med, so. Were you going to be, were you going to go to med school? Yeah, that was the plan. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, you're like, I every... still might after. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I decided to come work here. Smart, yeah, yeah. not smart. No. Um, will Wait. you? Would you consider going still? Like to med you... school? Yeah, like was that still of interest? Is that one of those things you're like, you know what? Maybe I will do that. No, that ship sailed a long time it ago. Did? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to a lot of doctors, and they were like, "Don't do it. It's the worst." Really? It's a tough yeah, they're life. like, I hate it. They're like, I don't get to pick my hours. They're oh, like, right. I make like okay money. Yeah. I was like, cool. I'll go. Work mm -hmm. at a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know who's smart now, but I know. Um, actually, <laughs> yeah, I think you might want to listen to those doctors. Um, so hold on. So pre med is like chemistry, science, biology, all this stuff. But you answered questions about those were not science questions, right? So what yeah, else? well, I mean, like if you're gonna go, if you've made your mind up that you're gonna be pre med, like you tried a lot in school. Yeah. So I did that. I took a lot of classes, uh, did all the AP stuff, and then I, I got AP. to college mm -hmm. uh, and just decided uh, it really wasn't for me. How long ago, how long into college did you realize it wasn't for you? Uh, I think like after two years, I was like, I don't want to cut bodies open. I don't want to yeah. do that thing. Uh, and then I decided I was going to be a physical therapist. Uh -huh. And then I worked with a bunch of those, and they were all miserable. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then at that point, I was like, maybe I'll go into like business or something. But they said, you know, you're going to need an extra year or two. You know, I got a ton of student loans. I was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. What was your SAT score? Uh, I took the ACT. Different. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Different. From the West, yeah. It's a coastal thing. So what uh, was your ACT? That was 33. Out of a possible? 36. That's, that's good. pretty good. And Chad, what was your SAT? It was, I did the ACT as well. It was also a 33. Mm. Wow. Let me ask you this, Danny. Were you ever a professor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. God. I feel like your fall from grace is a little bit worse Whoa. than mine. Oh my God. Wow. So so you watched Chad and you were like, I could take him down. This is bullshit. Yeah, and I was like, this is the competition? Oh, wow. This I, is what's I can't happening in my like booth? Sass is in this office. Well, I, I thought they Danny's, were Danny's team Chris, I guess. I guess. Well, so. I'm sick and tired of you just trashing them all fucking day, man. <laughs> the losers right? are always sick of the winners winning, you know? This is how mm -hmm. it goes. Oh, man. Okay. Is Chad trashing him a lot more now that he's been um Yeah, yeah how's it been lately? Honestly, it's been a little bit more quiet. I think uh 
you know, Chris has taken a couple to the chin, and uh, and he's not really running his mouth anymore. Oh wow! But I'm sick and tired of it. You know, Chris was there when I choked on that steak at Christmas dinner. That's true. He was there. He gave me the Heimlich. He gave you life. Not this piece of shit. Wow. wow. This guy was like, this food's good. I'm going <laughs> to... While it's hot. Chris just wanted to give you a Heimlich. He didn't really care if you were okay. He just wanted his hands all over you? Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we set the... All right, Danny. ...table for the next thing. Thanks, guys. Jesus wow. Christ. I didn't realize how hostile these I, dudes I didn't were. Know, I didn't realize that there's like that kind of like, you know, flavor in this environment like i just didn't realize it i didn't either because all we see is everybody being like nice to each other and getting along so we didn't we don't really realize that there's trash talking behind yeah. you know closed door like we're not here that's interesting we should start watching the footage of the cameras yeah and surveil them constantly well we're gonna we're gonna watch that fucking jukebox camera you bet day and night it's gonna be on my phone I didn't know Danny was pre-med, my God. Yeah. He's, you gotta be real smart to do that one, you know? You gots to be. Yeah. I couldn't have done that one. This episode is brought to you by Stamps.com. If you've got a small business, you've been feeling the strain that inflation is putting on all of us. Right now, it's harder than ever for small businesses to stay profitable and every dollar counts. If you're looking for a way to cut costs, why not start with paying less to mail and ship? When you use Stamps.com to mail and ship, you get access to exclusive discounts and great rates on shipping, so you can keep more money in your pocket at the end of the day. We've been using Stamps.com for, oh, a decade now because it just makes sense. Why are you wasting your time going to the post office? You can do everything from your own desk. Stamps.com gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services that you need right from your computer. Get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 30% off USPS rates and 86% off UPS. Start mailing and shipping with stamps.com and keep more money in your pocket. Sign up at stamps.com slash mom for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com slash mom. People don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, even digestive issues can be indicators of stress. Let's not forget about doom scrolling, sleeping too much, sleeping too little, overeating, undereating. Look, we all deal with stress. I deal with tons of stress. I got a crazy tour that I'm trying to do. I work here at YMH Studios. I have a family. I have extended family. Everybody's asking me a million questions a day. You have to make time for yourself. You have to do something that helps you deal with it all. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see if online therapy can help lower your stress. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Your mom's house listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash mom's house. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash mom's house. Uh, check this out. That's a pretty cool offer. Listen, I'm offering a challenge if I'm going to find Donald Trump's phone number because I, I can give Donald the best sex of his life. Better than Melania. I give... Donald Trump ass emotional damage. I want Donald Trump. I love Donald Trump. Fuck. Oh wow. So this guy. Oh wow. Is offering to have sex with former President Trump. Wow. And he thinks he can do it better than Alanya. <laughs> and <laughs> and all you have to do is get this guy Trump's phone number. That's amazing. Pretty cool. I miss Melania. Yeah. I miss better seeing her. Melania. Better than Melania. Melania. Yeah. Denalia. Yeah. Yep. Wow, he seems attractive and he seems game and I like his energy. I hope he gets what he wants. I wonder if Trump will be open to it. I know he's he traditionally liked women, but <laughs> I don't know. I love Donald Trump. Not after he sees this guy. Yeah, this guy's Little got fucking it. bubbles. What's this guy? He might be Native American because he has the same teeth as that guy <laughs> from the last episode. Oh, who's not Jewish. Right, that last guy who wasn't Jewish but, but was Native American <laughs> had very similar teeth. <laughs> You know, I am. No, there's ask. bubbles. There he is. He does have a bubbles <laughs> look. It's true. There he is. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's Bubbles looking normal. The actor. That's wow. Look, big difference. That's Bubbles. Yeah. Oh, he's arrested for domestic battery. Shut up. That's a very Bubbles charge, isn't it? Yeah. Art imitates life. Yeah. Life imitates art. Really cool. Mm-hmm. Didn't know that. Wonder who he assaulted. Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad he made a TikTok about. Let's Trump. see. The guy, his name is Mike Smith, with a woman. Yeah. Hmm. It was oh Hollywood police. It was in L.A. <laughs> oh, One fifteen a.m. fighting in a bathroom next to the pool at the Roosevelt Hotel. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Just having fun. What a goofball, huh? Twenty grand bail. Yeah, she's probably goofing around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bubbles. What are you doing, bro? Um, wait, is this somebody else here? Smith previously spoken out against violence, supported his Trailer Park Boys co-star Lucy de Coutel after she accused a Canadian radio personality of choking and raping her. Jesus oh, Christ. He was found not guilty uh, last month. Okay. A lot of stuff going on up north. Jeez. I know. Didn't realize this. Oh, that's old as fuck. That was 2016. Yeah. Okay. Well, we were behind He really looks so different without used. like the without glasses the... and the facial expression. Yeah. God, that's got to be exhausting on I like know. a 16-hour day. I was just thinking that. They're probably like, hey, man, hey, Mike, got to kind of do the bubbles face. He's like, ooh, every line. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Oof. You don't want to do the character, man. Yeah, I bet it's... It's grueling. It works you out, yeah. <sighs> um, here's our... Remember our friend? Hey, Lore. That's doing it. <laughs> Great day today oh, for CT like spray it. tans, Laura D'Agostino. Yeah, my how, hurts. how was the bodybuilding competition? Did you hurts. kill it? But I'm not even saying anything, Killed Lauren. It. I'm not even saying anything. What's going on? Yeah. Oh. No, please. <laughs> I'm not please. even saying anything. Please, please, please. <laughs> this time please. it's not me. All right. All right, follow CT spray tans, everybody. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. I don't want to see another one of her. No, there was only one I in swear. there. Swear, she's really sweet. Yeah, she's, she's very sweet. Really sweet. Yeah, and he does this oh, to gosh, her all the time. I know. This time though, what you missed is that he didn't say anything. <laughs> he's like, "How was your thing?" And she's like, "I don't want." He's like, "Okay, how was your contest?" <laughs> and then she just started dry heaving. He's like, "I didn't do anything." Now it's like locked into her head if she sees him in a camera. Mm -hmm, like Pavlovian. Yeah, it's Pavlovian at this point. It's yeah. Amazing. It's hilarious. Poor lady. Boy, her husband really tortures her, huh? Yeah, I wonder if he farts and shits and burps. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, I'm not going to stop burping and farting. Oh, I know. I know. You've been doing it for a, over a decade. I, did, I told you I had a boyfriend that, like, was so annoying with me. He's like, God. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, sorry. Give me his number. I want to talk to him. <laughs> so what would he would just go he would just voice his displeasure so but also i was generally messier than he was mm -hmm. so i think yeah i didn't like it I'm just a so, pig. look i'm not a neat lady i'm just not i know this <laughs> maybe that's the kind of pig man i get because i'm a pig with tits <laughs> Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want a pig with tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> um so. So? That is oh, here we so go. So what? You wanna get a pet? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Finger in the bear's mouth? No. Big no. <laughs> Uh, what his language was that again? No Russian, no surprise. Look at that thing. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. Jesus, idiot. <laughs> How is he this confident with this bear? He must have raised him from. You think so? I hope. Because I just imagine 
You know when you scratch a cat's belly and they don't like it and they hind kick, they hind kick leg, leg, no, I don't leg know that. kick you? Yeah, you've had a cat any, you know, when you rub a cat's belly and they like use their hind legs to, to kick back. I was picturing that bear just fucking kicking that guy's arm out of the socket. Yeah, and his whole head come off. <laughs> <laughs> kind of wild. They're like, yeah. I was in a pig with tits. There, there you are, there yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these titties eh? <laughs> <laughs> eh he's so canadian about it eh yeah look at these titties eh we really gotta go find that pig what city is he in again <laughs> was it calgary yes is that where he is yeah i'm gonna have to make a stop there oh i have to i gotta go try to find norm i would love you to find norm yeah i heard the borders are open now to canada are they yeah well I my gotta, canadian friend uh shane was just here what kind of uh what are you are you gonna go to a fine restaurant with him, or I don't know. I don't know. Just meet him, come in his mouth. Just you know, <laughs> he'd love that. He doesn't yeah. like guys. He likes he he does that for whenever his mistress tells him. Oh well, then you have to get with his mistress first and get the okay. And then he's the like, orders. I blew this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder where he is in his cycle. If he's um, oh right, if he's into it or if he's out of the loop. Mm -hmm. French Canadian. Poutine fries. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah. Maybe go out for, well, what if we went out for poutine? That's what you're going to do. Yeah. I love poutine. Find a place. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get an update on Norm. Yeah. Yeah. See how he's doing, if you don't mind. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. He's a sweetheart. Um, you want to know something hilarious? I don't think you're aware of this. So somebody uh, went on Tinder and decided to you to like to flirt, like op open his game, that he would use good morning Julia Joe's words, you know? Uh, you precious. Yeah, like. Good morning, Julia. It's me, Joe. Just wanted to say hi. Wish you a great day. Tell you that meeting you yesterday and getting a look at you was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. <laughs> you were so beautiful. You don't know how beautiful you are to me. Okay, so you I mean, know. Just, you're gorgeous. You're precious. Just a reminder to everyone. It's so uncomfortable. Ugh, it's so predatory. Oh. So he, he matched with her. He goes, good morning, Julie. It's me, Joe. Just wanted to say hi. I wish you a great day. Tell you that meeting yesterday. You were so beautiful. <laughs> she writes back, ha ha, I am confused. Your name is Eric or Joe? Good morning. It's night, I think, now. I don't think I met you. You don't know how beautiful you are to me. You're precious. You're gorgeous. He writes to her. <laughs> She writes, um, uh -huh. maybe if you met him in person, you would not think so. It's been sitting in my mind when you said you want to go back with your boyfriend. Ex <laughs> Please erase him from your mind. They'll never go back to your past, I know, because I've been there. <laughs> she writes, ha ha, I'm a little bit confused. I will play along. I would not go back to him because I broke up with him because I was fantasizing about someone else. I understand when you're trying to find somebody and you go on dates and nothing compares to your ex. This is all exactly what Joe says in the video. It seems like maybe you're still into your ex. I will love you like you've never been loved before. I will cherish you. I'll make you feel like a woman, a real woman. And believe me, if you experience me, you won't even know who your ex-boyfriend is. Open up your heart to me uh -huh. and your arms. Let's go full throttle. Uh, she writes, I am not into my ex, but it seems like <laughs> you are very confident. Oh, her name is Julia. Too. Yeah. That's why he did it, I think. I can see myself falling in love with you. I don't know. I just look into your eyes. She goes, that's good. I never met you before. <laughs> no. Anyhow, I'm head off to work. Do you work night shifts at Self-Employed? Um, this is my cute little home. Everything you see behind me, I built everything. Every square. He keeps going. Exactly what Joe says. She goes, you are a very interesting person to talk to. What's your favorite thing to build? How do you know how to build everything? He goes, you're a sweetheart. I hope this conversation, I didn't scare you, but that's how I feel. Just so you know that, okay, I look forward to going out to dinner with you. Let's make it happen. I don't think this scared me. It just confused me a little bit. But I think I would not mind potentially meeting you because you seem interesting to talk to. Most people just say hi. Um, where, uh, when are you free for coffee or dinner? I'm leaving for a week tomorrow, so I guess after that you live kind of far. I guess I don't know how long how to drive 18 miles. Maybe it's not that far. I don't know. I'm sleepy. Mwah. Ciao, baby. So he used Joe's entire thing. thing and got a date. And it worked. It worked. Wow. It just goes to show that women are so desperate for courtship. And, I think. and just anything more than a high. Even yeah. if you're just like, 
rehearsing something you saw in a movie. Yeah. You know, or in this case, a psychopath's yeah. message to a woman. It I mean, I, I imagine it's it's got to be hard to, yeah, to yeah. court women over sure. DMs and, sure. and to get something so like this that. this is the type of guy you're getting. I'm a very handy guy, and uh, I'd love to build you whatever you want. You're a sweetheart. So I hope this video doesn't scare you, but that's how I feel. I just want you to know that, okay? Know I that. I look forward to uh, going out to dinner with you. So let's make it happen. Mwah. Ciao, baby. That's the worst part is um Okay, you come. <laughs> I want someone to do that one next. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Just do a all good of Leo's one. lines. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a normal size. It's and then when she's epic. like, do not message me again, just write, you bet I'm coming up in May. <laughs> 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 yeah. But isn't it interesting, too, how a transcript of Joe is not nearly as creepy as a video of Joe. Yes, it's totally different. It's all in the presentation. It is. Because she's like, ha ha, I'm just confused. And I would agree, you read that, the reading of it also, is not that Also, I want to point this out. Joe's not a bad looking guy no. by any means. No, you know? no. I think he looks like a very pleasant gentleman. What if Joe's speech is from a really handsome guy? Like a really handsome guy. I don't know. I think again, right? it's the pathetic, it's the... The desperation. Yeah. Reads. That's the problem. The desperation. It, reads. it doesn't read in the texts in the it's true. written form, maybe. But he's the performance, which is authentic, is desperate. It's, and that's why it's that's why it puts you off. So hard to Because I wonder if this could be delivered not desperate. Yes. Right? Like if the guy was like, Good yeah. morning. I just want to let you know that meeting you yesterday. Ah. Yeah. Best day of my life. Yeah. You know, and everything you see here, I build I'm a I can yeah. build anything. Like a little more pleasant and not like, you know, not reading. So like. I want to eat you. Yeah. yeah. And then somebody's like, oh, this was like sweet. This guy sent me a message, right? Or like if it's just like a really handsome dude, then maybe she's like, oh, this is the best message. But the don't go back to your ex, that whole. Yeah, that part's tough. Try to deliver that nonchalant. Go ahead. Um, here. Hold Use on. your acting, Tom. Okay, try on, try to deliver that in but a. It's been sitting in my mind when you said to me, you want to go back with your ex-boyfriend. Please erase him from your memory. Don't ever go back in the past. You know, it's been sitting in my mind what you said about your ex boyfriend. Please erase him from your memory. I, I don't. Don't ever go back in the past. You there know, you let's live right now. Like that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good acting. That's yeah. good. That's good. Just I know. Get on with it. Yeah, because I've been there, and I understand when you know you're trying to find somebody. Because I know, I've been there, and I know when you're trying to find somebody, and then you find someone like you. I just want to squeeze you until your head fucking pops off. That's what it reads like, yeah. Yeah, it's so desperate. Ugh. Take your neck and go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you courted me. Yeah. That's all the kind of shit you said in the beginning. You're like, I'll snap your neck. I want to rip your head yeah. off and just pish, pish down your neck. That piss all over your mouth. I did not say that. I want to fuck your eyeballs out. I didn't say that, but you did say you want to squish my head and hurt me and stuff. You did. Those were glaring red flags that I ignored. Why'd you ignore them? I liked you. <laughs> <laughs> because you were my kind of crazy. I yeah. was like, this guy's fucked up just like I am. <laughs> and you go on dates. Oh, stop. Nothing compares to your ex. But oh, there is that off. better person out there. Oh, no, don't and say Julia, it, Joe. Don't say it. I promise you, it. it is me. <laughs> I got the chills. But there is that better person out there. And Julia, I promise you. Oh, I don't like it. It's me. It's Batman. And if you say no to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't think that I can't find where you live. Yep. That's hotter than that. I like that over that any day. Oh, Just yeah, when you think I'm gone, yeah, and you hear your blinds rattle. Oh no! You get up to pee in the middle of the night. Yeah. Make sure you look in the shower. Yeah. Because Joe's gonna be standing right there. I like Joe. I like that Joe better. I take that Joe any day. Really? Yeah. It's hot. You're into me. <laughs> <laughs> This guy is just pathetic. He's into anybody that gives him um, a scrap of attention. 
Yeah. He's into any stray dog. All poor Julia actually did was just, she didn't even give him attention. That's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, it was like, she was walking to her car. I know, she at the gym. And he's like, oh, who are you? Like, it wasn't even yeah. some connection. There really wasn't. But that guy that you just did, like, he's so into me because he knows me and he knows, like, he's picked me. <laughs> yeah, Bundy style. Yeah. That's not attractive. <laughs> but it's devotion. Devotion. Okay. I like that. By the way, hated that burp. Everybody else in the booth did too. Look around. I don't care. I also blow my nose into my hand. I still do uh, it. I, I don't finally fucking caught care. one of those the other day. It is more revolting than you think. She was like, <clears throat> I was like, what are you doing? She was like, oh, I have to get up and get a tissue. I'm like, that's what everybody does. But was it during a romantic moment? <sighs> no. 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 I maintain the dignity of those moments with you. What? Nothing. What are you thinking about? How revolting it was. Fucking Tunisian girlfriend, huh? <laughs> you thinking of her? Huh? Huh? Oh, that was huh? that was a piggy. That was a real piggy. <laughs> she was nasty. Ugh. Can we watch some TikToks? Okay. It's been so long, and All I've been right. waiting so patiently. We didn't get to him in the last last episode. <clears throat> And I love them. You sure do. I bet you bitches were looking for me. There's a message for you. Putin. Do you attack Poland? Hold all the 30 of your NATO, um, NATO countries will be coming for you. I hope he sees it. Yeah. Quite a threat. He Quite had like those very scary teeth. Yeah. I feel like this man could be trained to be a good actor. I think so. He's not oh. yet, but I think he could be. He, he could has be. like the, the blueprint for it. Hello, Putin. Putin. Yeah. He just needed to memorize his lines first. I think that would have helped. He st stammered. Yeah. The echo I was cool. I would have done a take too. Yeah. Second take would have been better. Because you do have that option. That's what they do in the old moving pictures. They do a take two. <laughs> the dog rights might be a lady. I think you're right. Is it a, is it a they, them? Oops. Uh, shit, it might think, be a lady. Uh, I think she could be a great actress too. Let's move on. Hey, I need help. Everybody needs help. I'm crazy. Yeah. You send me help, I might take it. Wow. I don't need no help. Hey, no. <laughs> I want any to go on a date with her. <laughs> what do you think? Why y'all do this to me, man? I, I just feel like you're not attracted to her, and I'd like to see you navigate it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it means I, I he could, likes you. I couldn't. Yeah, apparently you're my <laughs> best friend now. <laughs> you're just throwing me all the good stuff. What uh, would it no, take? No, I could not. There's no but chance. Just, wait no a chance. minute. Annie, all right, what's up? What would it take? For you to take her out on a date. Just a date. Hear me out. You listen to her Just problems. Just a date. Yeah. <laughs> hold her, he holds her hand and he gives her a kiss goodnight. Yeah. You have to kiss that mouth with tongue. I. Well, what would it you take? You say like monetarily, what would it take to get this <laughs> on my mouth? Uh, bruh. Bruh. I, bruh. Couple racks. <laughs> bruh. Mm -hmm. Bruh. I, bruh. <laughs> he can't bruh. even say a number. Because he knows that he knows the number is going to be offensive. Yeah. All right. Uh, Point taken. Uh, come it's on. Impossible. It's impossible. Because well, she is. She's not. She's a whole white baby, bro. Well, it's a lot. It's. A, I don't just mean. I mean, you know, the crazy is also. She's crazier than fuck. But you don't think she could use a nice night out, a free meal? Oh, I think she could use. Meal. I think she could use a little bit of tender, loving care. And I think I know someone who would do a good job. But it's just you know. Selfish. Yeah, being real selfish right now. <laughs> Could you imagine though if Annie asked her out and, and he's like, me asked her out? He's like, <laughs> How are we switching this up now? Where I'm asking first it was paying me money. Well no, but that's part of the plan. Oh, I gotta we, ask her yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful like, and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Like how Excuse would you me, beautiful? What yeah. are you doing tonight? Yeah, how would you slide into her DMs? Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm good. <laughs> you got to be like, God, I love when you do that. <laughs> I'm like, come on, baby, let's get this over with. Let's get this over. We gotta do this. Proof. Yeah. You got. You're like, I'm supposed to get paid. Can you do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hundred dollars if you make it fucking quick. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. <laughs> How about you, Tom? Let's bookmark her and see if we can contact her. Okay? Oh. <laughs> Y'all fucked up. Okay. Chocome por ser hincha de River, meta la mano ahí y saque la hora. Vamos, vamos. Does that remind you of your summers in Peru? <laughs> Though what your abuelita did to you? That's wild. <laughs> yeah, but I you wonder know, how much that weighs. But you know you have a relative that did that shit to you. Like everyone's no. got somebody in their family. Really? No. No, nobody in my family. You guys family. are fucking class in your family. I yeah, guess. nobody I don't. in my family did that. Oh, we did white trash shit like this all the time. You, your hand was dropped like under a guy's gut? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like a hundred pound gut? Not like that fat, but you know, fun games like this, yeah. Wait, what specifically was the game? I'm trying to remember. Like, you know, you do stupid shit like this. Like, like was it like, hey, reach in my pants, there's candy yeah, in there? Yeah, there's like. <laughs> yeah. That's what no, it kind of sounds not like. Not his dick or anything. But am I, someone would do this in my family. Okay. Sure. Wait, so what do you feel? How do you feel? How do I feel? I'm watching that. Isn't that funny as shit? I mean, yeah, it's kind of like, it's also like alarming that he, he seems like he's really trying and he can't get out of there. <laughs> I want to know what that weighs. <laughs> Her fat. And uh, she's huge. That's really big. That poor little it's arm. too big. That's like Juju's arm, or Ellis's arm. All right, any between this one and the last one. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Who would you go out with first? <laughs> I go with this one. Yeah. At, at least this one. You can't one even see her face. Scream. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I can't see her face yet. And she's fun. Yeah, she seems fun. Yeah. And she's not, you know, making videos about how fucking She'd be like, crazy oh, yeah. and stupid she is. Oh, yeah, any. Por qué no put your pee pee under my gut? See if you can fuck it. Hey, vamos, wey. Hey. All fun, you have a new fetish when you come back. You're like, I like to nut under these big fat guts. God help me, please no. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> daddy, 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 yo. Sitting outside on the patio. Daddy, daddy, yo. Daddy, yo, patio. Sipping on a beer, soaking up the sun. Just cut the grass, ready for some fun. Now, hear me out. If we had the right producer on this track, it could slap, right, Any? Enemy, enemy, my enemy, my enemy. F-U-C-K. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's, they're from the same school, it feels it's like. Not <laughs> so get up the sun. Ready, get, get, get. That's him? <gasps> oh my oh, god, that is, that him. is him. That's Cutter the Killer. Oh, I didn't clown. realize that was him. I didn't yeah. realize that was him either. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So that's not wow. a coincidence that I'm triggered. <laughs> wow, what are the chances? I just randomly found him. He really likes to put his, his raps out there. Well, you know, when you're an artist and you do it for just the love of the game, nothing can stop you when you're a creative person. Yeah. You know, you and I did stand up for free for many, many years because we yeah. love it so much. Yeah. Getting paid is just a perk. Oh, look at these guys. Hi, Jeremy. It's that, Jeremy. Line. Valentine. Line. Guy. Jackie. <laughs> Hunter, Jack. Chris, Aww. I love my babies. I love you too, my babies. <laughs> I love you too, my babies. It's pretty good. It's cute. It's Jackie. very cute. Jackie the parrot. Yeah. So these are all baby parrots that this guy is raising. It's cute. And he gives updates on them every day. He tucks them in and he, it, it's That's adorable. Sweet. That's adorable. Yeah. I could see myself getting crazy like this. I definitely could see it too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think you're not that far from this. Not far at all. No. Wait until the kids go to high school. I'll be getting six parrots and I'll be tucking them in. Hey, lovely. Mommy loves you. Are you going to make love to me now? Uh, I don't make love. I fuck hard. Oh. oh, I like the tongue wag at the end. That was cool. 
Well, this had all the elements of an amazing talk. Don't you see it? Don't you get it? Yeah. First of all, okay, so it's a horny talk, which you know are my favorites to yeah. put that horniness out there. Number two, he duetted her, and the sinking did not match up whatsoever, and that didn't stop him from publishing His whole vibe it. is lit. Lit. I and mean, then, shirtless, sunglasses, <laughs> not being able to do the lip sync correctly, holding a wad of cash, <gasps> tongue whack. I mean, it's, he's got all the fucking markers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is rare to find all these boxes. Poor checked. angle, angled up. Like it's, I mean, yeah. it's like, yeah. It's all amazing. And then she's He's got. He's doing great. She's got. <laughs> she's got full tattooed titties. Did you notice that? Like that's. No, Tina. I missed that. <laughs> she's real life Tina. Yeah. I mean, her titties are. I'm not saying like a chest piece in the middle. Yeah. Her fucking titties, bro, are like tatted up. That's that's tough it's for hot. you. Stop sending coins, cards, keys, and jewelry through letters. This machine will rip them out. Did you know that? Interesting. This is Secrets of the United States Postal Service, USPS, and uh, this is one of their hot tips. Don't send that stuff. That, so it's a sorting machine, right? Interesting. Yeah, and it'll rip out whatever shit you're going to do. No? And he's like, I've sent so many drugs through the mail. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say something a little, you know, more YouTube safe, but low key, yeah. <laughs> and ain't no problem, so that's interesting. Yeah. I think that the maybe it's standard letters that this is a this could be an issue with, but if you put it into like envelope. Yeah, like a bigger, you know what I mean? It's just saying that like that can happen because that makes sense if that machine is like, you know, letters are supposed through to be through letters. Right. Yeah. Are you sending them through letters? I, I wow. sent I sent one uh what was it it was like a vape cartridge you know like the little oh right I sent that through regular just an envelope maybe you got stupid. lucky though <clears throat> maybe yeah. maybe yep. I got lucky I don't know damn hmm guys just pay attention when you're sending your illegal stuff in the mail if you could have me for twenty four hours and I couldn't say no what would we do oh fuck. <sighs> What would you do with them for 24 hours? Oh. <laughs> this one's, no, I don't like this. So this is a popular meme where it's usually hot chicks yeah. doing the voiceover of like, if you could have me for 24 hours, eh, I couldn't say no, what would you do? I mean, what do it's people all say hot to chicks. them? Like, I'll fucking, I'll fucking bend you over, I treat you like a queen. It ranges from like, I treat you like the queen you are mm. to I bend you over and fuck you. It's it's a way for hot girls to get hot girl attention. Sure. This meme, but then when this guy does it, it's a whole yeah. different thing. It's kind of interesting, no? Yeah. It's artistic. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love that he thought that he's gonna get the same. He did it because he was like, I want those types of answers. Yeah. Like I want people to be like, oh, you can't say no. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I know. He's not what, what would I? What wouldn't I do with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for hot chicks. Hello, just trying out my new cosplay face paint. <laughs> Tell me what you think about it. <laughs> if you like it, or if you don't, have a good day. <laughs> I can't get over how stupid this guy is. <laughs> Could you imagine putting yourself out there? Like, tell me if you like it or not. Like, what do you think people are going to write? I mean, his world. <laughs> it's probably a few people that go to those and they're like, fucking killed it, bro. <laughs> you look uh, amazing. I think it's so embarrassing. What is that? Is it supposed to be a cat? Is that know. what that is? Is that cat makeup? <laughs> Who's in the cosplay? Are you in the stuff? new cats play, sir? He looks like cats. It does look yeah. like cats. Yeah. He's the angelical cat, the evangelical cat. I don't know what he is. It's fucking what? terrible. The jellicals. I got an eyelid piercing. Cool, right? Are you going to get one too? Holy shit. Yeah, that can't be good for you. How do you sleep? That's got to be horrible. That looks rough. Fuck. Yeah. This is making my stomach hurt. 
You sure you don't have to shit again? I don't think so. I might after if I watch this video again, I might. Yeah. That's, that's fucking not. rough, man. I know. It's cool though. Well, don't you think? No, hold on. When people were getting this person's eyelid, mm -hmm. not eyebrow, mm -hmm. the eyelid is pierced. Mm -hmm. But remember when people were getting lip piercings mm -hmm. and nose rings at first? Everybody was like, oh, how can they do that? That Don't boogers get caught in it? It's unsanitary. You know, she's just leading the way. She's revolutionary, Tom. Yeah. The next generation of cool piercings. <laughs> I respect this man's eating game. I feel like Bert would respect this, too. Yeah. Yeah, Bert would do that. He'd be like, oh, I'm doing that tonight. <laughs> I'm making that tonight. I love that. I love you so much that <laughs> I'll do things to you that I would not even do to a farm animal. That's love, baby. Look, these guys love it. They don't know what your problem is. Everyone else is having a big fun time in the sound booth. Hello, they loved it. This is getting big LOLs, not like your horrible videos of people dying in trucking accidents. Yeah, listen, uh, this, this one did it for you? This is what gets you? This is hilarious. This guy does all creep videos like he does? that. He does? He does. You sound surprised. I am surprised. What? He's not explaining well, Shakespeare? Well, I don't know this world like you, so you have to fucking... Yeah, this is this guy's lane. It's always being creepy and shit. Okay. Wow. I'll do things to you that I wouldn't even I don't do like a it. farm animal. I don't like it. I didn't say I enjoyed it. Um, Where is um, the guy that the mommies have gone on? The chomo guy. Oh, that guy? He's on TikTok, yeah, too. Yeah, this dude is fucking great. This guy, the mommies found him. Yeah. Um, hold on, and I discovered it. him after the mommies had already been torturing him. And I was like, oh, this is fucking amazing. Um, here we go. I got him. Stop calling me that name. Stop calling me a chomo. I'm not a chomo. <laughs> Stop calling me a chomo. I'm not a chomo. What's wrong with you? Weirdos. <laughs> You're the weirdos. Mm -hmm. And we hi. <laughs> It's a don't call me daddy style. Uh huh. Um, let's see, internet personality. Oh, he's an infamous being a fart fetishist. I didn't realize that. I didn't know that. Compilation of more clips of him telling people not to call him a chomo. <laughs> yeah, he has been accused of actually being a chomo. Oh, in real life. Okie dokie then. Stop calling me chomo. <laughs> I fucking mean it. I'm sick and tired. I'm not no chomo. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> I'll get you back for this. Oh boy, you're gonna pay the price. Just see, I'm not no chomo. Stop doing your retarded <laughs> shit. I don't care how much you say it, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck it is I want to. Understand? Stop fucking doing it, because I'm gonna fight back and fight back and fight back all I want. I'm not gonna stop. Do you have the videos of him? Why? So there's videos of him dressed as a schoolboy and then being like, I look extra young in this look. So he is he is enticing people yeah. to call him. Oh, that's in the TikTok folder. Oh, so, really? So yeah, let's let me show you because oh. I I pulled that as background because I was oh. like, Why are we calling him a chomo? And then I did a dive and I'm like, Oh. Here it is. He's like, I'm looking younger every day. Like, oh. I'm a kid and I don't have to go to school. I'm a kid and I don't have to go to school. I'm a kid and I don't have to go to school. What do you think? Hmm. It's strange. It's definitely weird and I don't like it. Well, Where this else guy. but Costa Rica can you buy a pound of tuna? A pound of tuna for like five bucks. Buy it fresh caught from the freaking ocean out here. And just eat it. Five bucks a pound of tuna. Raw. Mmm. Got my papaya here. The papayas are so delicious. We got some mm. avocado. Mmm. And a freaking bone. Yeah. Oh. Full of bone marrow. 
So what I'm gonna do is after I eat this tuna, mmm. I can't stand to go to a sushi restaurant and pay so much money for sushi. When look at this, it's a pound of yummy, delicious raw tuna for just like five bucks. Mm. I can't even eat this much, it's so much. What a primal way to be. I like it here. I didn't think I'm gonna eat this avocado because this is gonna fill me up. Okay. I mean, his guts have to be so strong. Yeah. I bet you he's got guts of steel, this yeah. guy. He's doing it. He never gets diarrhea, apparently. I don't know. He doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> he might live with diarrhea, but we don't know Do you yet. think he's just, for years, he's like, I don't know why, but I keep the getting thing diarrhea. Is, <laughs> like most of you, I have diarrhea seven, eight times a day. Now, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, okay, this is a different guy. This guy put steak, took it out for a week, and that's what it looks like. So this is another guy that's been eating raw on TikTok, raw meat. And that steak looks rotten as shit. And he's into eating it like that too. He shows you, there you go, looks like shit. It's green, it's black. It's not meant to be consumed, but he's gonna eat it. Why does he have to eat them rotten? The insides are still normal two looking. Two weeks old. It is only two weeks old. I mean, maybe his stomach is used to this bacteria. I'm not sure what the utility is in this. I don't know. I don't get it. He's just showing that he eats rotten food? Yeah. He's into the, the raw food eating thing. But like that's that not guy. just raw. That's rotten. It's yeah, different. yeah, 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 yeah. Rami is always, hmm, chewier. Okay. I guess he doesn't get sick anymore. So some people think that I've just been seasoning a, a fresh steak each time. But I'd like you to have a look at what's happening to the fat there. <laughs> yeah. It's molding over. That doesn't happen. We're just seasoning. You know it's been sitting out. So here's a good look of what's left over, um, which I'll sample again next week. Okay. Thanks, everybody. He's into eating raw. I mean, I don't know how it, this doesn't kill you. Because don't don't you die from like botulism and and don't can't know. these I bacteria don't know the science behind kill it. you, Chad? Can't these bacteria kill you? Yeah, I think it might. Uh, you might need to get used to eating that kind of food over time. Yeah, right. okay. and then you'll build a resistance to it. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, that's a good thing to get into. It's like your next hobby. Yeah. Is I am always looking for hobbies. Acclimating your body to rotten meat. Yeah. And then a few short months, you can eat the steak too. Okay. Um, let's wrap this up. Why? I was just having fun. Everyone's having a great time. Nah. I want to go. Uh, thank you guys for watching and listening. Gosh. And um, yeah, we love you. <laughs> Yeah. And we'll see you. Disrespect. That was for you. Yeah, I know okay. it. You looked right at me. I know it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a Jewy nose, especially when you laugh. I'm telling you, man. It gets even more Jewish looking when you laugh hard. So does mine, though. I've seen me laugh. My profile It's not pretty. Okay. And thank you guys. <laughs> Have a great week. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye. Love you. Well, you know what? You're fired, bud. You know who you're talking to? You're talking to a man that just ruined your fucking life, okay? Yeah. Listen here. What do you guys? How do you get a job here, there, fuck face? You don't have nothing for me, buddy.
Hey, you just watched a full episode of your mom's house. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, watch another one. Maybe you'll like that one. They're everywhere. Look, I don't know. They place them in like cubes, squares, whatever it is. Just click another one. Maybe you'll find someone you like or someone will get hurt.